Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and right here we have two amazing knives I've never experienced before in my life. They are in for sharpening, but I have to show you guys. First off, this is the Quest Custom Gent, and this is the giveaway knife for the patron members for hitting 20K. We hit 20K, and I'm so excited that I decided to give away my Quest Custom Gent to one of the patron members, and... Yeah, you, you, if you guys aren't a patron member, you guys should probably join. I am trying to grow the patron, um, so if you guys want to join, the links are in the bottom of the description. We give away knives every month, and this month is a real special one. And you still have an opportunity to join to win this, but one of the patron members are going to win this knife. And, you know, it, <laughs> it's worth more than I even make off of Patreon. But, you know, I love the patron members, and I... I I'm so thankful for all their support, and I'm so excited we hit 20K. So let's get to these. Now, this is the Freeman Harley. Oh, man, is this thing beautiful. This micarta, I don't even know what kind of micarta this is. It's got to be um, like Westinghouse micarta, but you can see it's side cut. You can see the... the, the uh, the fabric or the fibers in there very beautiful titanium and then we have micarta um pivot collars and then a timascus clip and another micarta backspacer this has got to be westinghouse micarta and then i believe the core of this is actually cts xhp let's deploy it bang so we have a dual hollow ground drop point blade and right here this is a hollow and then down here is a hollow and we have a swedge that goes all the way out to the belly. Now, like I said, the core of this steel is CTS XHP. You can actually see the core. The lock bar, very easy to access, access very, uh, very soft. The drop is very, very smooth. I'm not sure what this is on. Probably. I don't know. It's I don't know. But it's very, very smooth. The thumb deployment's very nice. I love the size of this hole. It's nice and big for the deployment. Very nice in the hand. You can get up nice and close to that blade. But what does this swedge do for this knife? I know people are probably wondering that. Well, one, we have this dual hollow, right? So it's going to be nice and thin down here and then nice and thin at the tip. But this... This line right here, that's bringing the stock thickness tapering down to the belly of the edge. Now, that's going to add some strength. Well, one, it looks really cool, too, right? It's unique. It looks cool. But another thing, it's going to actually add some durability behind the edge. Is it going to slow down cutting performance? Yeah, a little bit. But it's going to bring some stability right there. And, so you know, it's going to make it a little more durable in that belly area. So... Very, very cool. Very unique. Beautiful Timascus clip. Um, I should have probably cleaned it before showing you guys. Um, the placement of the hole is really nice. It's very easy to get to. Very natural. The slow roll is very nice. The drop is very smooth. This micarta is just, it almost feels like wood. And I felt micarta like this before. And the stuff I tried before that was very similar to this was the Westinghouse micarta. I think it was vintage Westinghouse micarta. See, and since it's a bolster lock, you can use it left-handed. The only thing is that, man, your hand really lands right on the peak of that clip, which does go up pretty high. Although in this hand, you know, it doesn't really bother me too bad. It winds up landing in a decent spot. Very, very cool, though. Let's check out this next one. I don't think I've ever tried a Freeman knife, and if I have, it's been a while. I definitely haven't tried the Freeman Harley. Now, this next one is... I don't know the name of it, but it is a Tor knife. Now, I've never tried one of these, and I'm guessing this is a custom. It feels very much like a custom, very thick scales. Great placement for the thumb studs. It definitely feels like a good place. Light detent. 
Ooh, very, very smooth. This thing is ridiculously smooth. Now the detent is very light, as you can see, but it's so smooth. It's very easy. It's like it's like it's running on oiled glass. I mean, it is redonkulously smooth. It's got to be on like Teflon or something. It looks like phosphor bronze, but it's crazy, crazy smooth. Very easy to slow roll. The blade is a drop point flat ground blade. I believe this is, a, it feels like a flat. Definitely a robust style grind. Very comfortable in the hand because it does go from thinner to thicker. And I always say that always seems to be more comfortable than the opposite, than it going from thick to thin. So nice and comfortable. I do feel this clip quite a bit though, but you know, this is probably a custom, so it's not going to be like your everyday work knife. Nice and centered. Left hand, very easy to deploy the lock bar. Look at how easy that access is. Lots of access to that lock bar. Very soft lock bar. You can really control this knife with the thumb studs because it's so smooth. And yeah, very, very cool. Um... I've never tried one of these. I've seen them on video and stuff and other people's channels, but I've never tried one. Obviously made in the USA, number 25. So I'm going to be putting a 17 degree edge on this. And um, the, the, the grind tapers from the thinnest point here up to the thickest point, which is the belly up here. So it's going to have a tapering edge bevel looks like it was thrown on a KME before. And the stone washing is really nice. I love how the stone washing matches from side to side. Or from scale to blade. It's not really like drop shutty. Like when I unlock it, it doesn't really drop. But it's so smooth though. It, it almost blows my mind that it's not fall shut action. I mean, I can easily slap shut it if I want to. Like that. But, but it's just, it's so smooth. You would think this thing would just fall shut. Very, very cool. I'm kind of confused why they put the clip right here though, because clips, when they put them there, it always bothers my hand. Well, I think it bothers most people's hands because look, I'm going to squeeze it. Now watch us. Look at right there. That that is from the clip digging into my hand. I mean, it, it's painful, right here because like, look, it hangs over. But you know, like I said, it's not like it's a work knife. This is more of an EDC knife, a user knife. Um, he says it says one of his users, and ah oh, man, awesome knife. Definitely an awesome knife. Um, I need to check out more tour knives, but that is both of them. Let's pull back out this uh, Quest Custom really quick quick look at the quest custom so it's s35 vn hollow ground hand set now i did have a couple issues with it just little tiny issues you can watch on the review i've worked out most of them um but really the grind is you know, it's a custom so you know the grind isn't perfect actually i don't think i've ever had a custom with a perfect grind like that's usually from production knives custom knives you know you're a little bit more forgiving on grinds being perfect because a human is doing it but uh i thought about cutting in a choil right here possibly making it clean up a little bit better because it is uneven from this side to this side where the plunge is as you can see it's a little thicker on this side that's why it's hit but we have titanium marbled carbon fiber marble carbon fiber on this side you can see the quest custom logo right there um geared back spacer it is very comfortable on the hand. You can't use the, the hole unless you use your thumb, but you can't reverse flick it. But the detent is very strong. Very hard to fail this one. And uh, very thin behind the edge. It's very, very sharp right now. The edge bevel does look like a little unbent, like where it's thinner right here and thicker, but that's just the grind. 
but it is incredibly sharp, beautiful swedge down the top. And it's kind of crazy that this thing's called a gent, right? And a Warncliffe too, because this to me is a sheep's foot, not a Warncliffe, and the exact opposite of a gent knife. <laughs> but it's an awesome knife regardless. And I think Quest Custom still makes knives, but they only do like special orders or something. I don't know. You have to talk to them, but I think you have to like specifically order a knife like one by one in order to get one. So, but there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to join the patron. Peace. <laughs>